Hi, this is Craig from DiviThemeExamples.com and today we're going to run over one of the options for adding a Google font to your website. So the first thing you need to do is head over to google.com forward slash fonts and pick yourself a font that you want to use. We're going to use Press Start 2P, this one here. So you want to click on the Quick Use button. Select this one's only got one, but some of the others will have different options that you can check. But each one will add to your page load, so only select the ones that you actually want. We're going to stick with that Latin. Different method methods to import. We're going to use the standard one, so just copy this line of text and head over to your Divi theme options here. Go to the integration tab, make sure enable head code, header code is enabled. Add code to the head of your blog. So we're going to paste this code and that will get added to every page on your website. So basically that's now linking to the Google font files. So the next thing to actually use as you can see here in step 4 to integrate the fonts into your CSS you need to add the font family press start to P so and you can see here in the example H1 and it's got the font family it's got the backup fonts and it's got the font weight so we could just copy that head over to the theme options general and all the way to the bottom to your custom CSS we're going to paste that. We're going to change the name. Uh, what was ours called? Press start to P. Press start to is that capitals or? Yep. Okay, so that should work. Okay, so if we save changes. And we've got a test page here. And if we test that, preview that, there's actually a page title. There we go. So the page title is H1, and it has, and it's using our font that we've just added. So again, if we text mode, say we wanted to have all of our H3s to use um, the new font. So we've got H3, this is the title. If we preview that, we see H3, this is the default Divi title font, which is uh, Open Sans, I think. Okay, so to get the H3 to use our new font, we can go here. You can either just copy it on a new line and change H1 to H3, or you can just hit comma H3. So it's saying H1 and H3 use press start 2P. So again, if we refresh the test page, so we can see this is now using our new Google font. So you basically just add all of the elements where you want the uh, font to be used. It might be handy as well to have a class. So my font So my font class is going to use press start to P. So if we save that and then go to our new page, we have a, a paragraph. Oops. This is just a paragraph. This is our new font. 
So we want our new this to be our new font. So we're going to go span class equals uh, what do we say? My font. Our new font. Close span. And now we should see our new font in our new font. So there we go. So this is a span class using that font. And you can basically, yep, yeah, so if you wanted it here, recent comments. So you could do, if you don't know what the class is for various elements, you can use the inspect element. So we've just gone on this one. And it's class widget title. So let's add home. So you add the dot. So now, if we refresh this, uh, widget titles are now using the font as well. Now the only thing with this method, um, so if we use the Divi Builder, the fonts, the font that we've just added doesn't show anywhere in the drop down list. So if you want to be able to select the font from the drop down list, and that includes if you use the Divi Customizer, you're going to need to use a different method to add the Google fonts and that will be included on this post in Divi theme examples. Okay, so that's one method for adding Google fonts to your Divi website.